Max Verstappen has boycotted Sky Sports F1 after comments made by Ted Kravitz in Austin. Lando Norris took a swipe at Ted Kravitz after the Mexican Grand Prix, hours after Red Bull confirmed they would boycott the channel after comments came about Max Verstappen. Kravitz asked Norris why he had slipped from P8 to P10 at the start of the race. The McLaren driver responded, it's only two positions. Kravitz then pushed back, adding, well, that's not, that's not optimal. However, Norris then took a jive at the Sky Sports host, replying, you should try driving mate. Nora's comment comes after Max Verstappen hit back at Kravitz after the pundit claimed Lewis Hamilton was robbed of the title last season. Verstappen's decision to snub the channel will also affect the network's Italian and German channels. Yesterday afternoon, it was confirmed the entire team had backed Verstappen with Christian Horner absent from the channel's post-race coverage. Interviews with Verstappen and Sergio Perez were shown after the race but these were instead taken from F1's world feed. Norris and Verstappen have a close relationship with the Dutchman clarifying the pair were always friends after a near miss in qualifying at the Japanese Grand Prix. Yesterday evening, Verstappen confirmed his boycott was down to the channel's disrespectful coverage. He also suggested the decision to not speak was down to the actions of one reporter. Seemingly Kravitz. He said, it had nothing to do with this weekend. But this year, it's been a constant, kind of like digging, being disrespectful, especially one particular person. And at one point it's enough you know? I don't accept it, you can't live in the past, you just have to move on. At the moment, social media is a very toxic place. And if you are constantly being like that, live on TV, you make it only worse instead of trying to make it better in the world. You keep being. You keep disrespecting me, and one point I am not tolerating it anymore, so that's why I decided to stop answering. Kravitz made the controversial comments during his Ted's Notebook show after the United States Grand Prix. He commented, he gets robbed, comes back, his next year's car is rubbish, doesn't win a race all year, and then finally comes back at a track where he could win the first race all year, battling the same guy who won the race he was robbed in the previous year, and manages to finish ahead of him. What a script and a story that would have been. But that's not the way the script turned out, was it?